Hello and welcome to Michelle's Life on repeat. I have my first box of orchids since like forever. <laughs> well, okay, it's been about seven months and I am excited because I ordered from Calapana Tropicals um, a couple of new Catalea crosses that I can't wait to see. Hopefully they will bloom for me this season coming up in summer. We'll see. Let's open up the box and see what we have. Thank you for joining me on my channel. I uh, do make orchid videos every once in a while. Well, I haven't in a while because I haven't been ordering orchids. We were in a um, concerning our resources mode. And I still am um, being very cautious because I don't want to overextend myself with too much stuff because it does wear me out some days to try to keep up with all of my orchids. But, you know, a girl's got to get some new orchids every once in a while. It's like going out and buying a new purse or new shoes. Those aren't my things. A new lipstick, a new foundation, eyeshadow, not my thing. But orchids, yeah, that's my thing. But, uh, and they last so long. Ah, I'm having a hard time ripping this open, so I'm going to pause, rip it open. Okay, now that I've manhandled this box, getting it open, I was like, whoo, took a lot of work. You know, I was uh, enjoying a rainy day in Washington. Go figure, we haven't hit spring yet. Uh, actually, yesterday, I had one good day yesterday of summer, sunshiny, springy weather. But as I was sitting in my chair, rocking out just some music, uh, I got the announcement that uh, my delivery would be delayed a day. I'm like, oh, bummer. I'll get it tomorrow. And then, you know, a few minutes later, boom, your delivery has been made. And the you, and the FedEx driver was just coming through the loop, dropping them off. I thought that was quite funny. Apparently, I typed in the wrong address. And um, so, they had a hard time finding me. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Let me lower this down. So we have been doing the rainy weather constantly here. And we I haven't been able to get any seeds in the ground. Not yet. But I have a picture of me growing, uh, uh, potting up, potting my basil plants yesterday. I'll show that to you. They were outgrowing the little containers. I believe I have two or three. Now these came from Hawaii. They should, ouch, ow. They shipped out, don't get your hand in there when you're cutting. Shipped out yesterday because I'm on the West Coast. It just takes one day and they're here and I'm always impressed with California tropicals and their quality and their shipping is always very well done. Here we have one. And we have another one. They always tape it to the box. There's two. And three. Three. I think that was it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I drew blood. Yeah. I'm a weakling. <laughs> Let's move on. So I wanted to get some Catalea crosses for those big, blousy, bloomy flowers. I can't wait. So let's see which ones I picked. This one looks like it was just plopped in here. It's a little wobbly. Where's the name tag? There it is. I have an LC, so a Lelia Catalea Aussie Sunset Cosmic Fire crossed with LC Spring Fire Lynette Number no. One. She should be, if I remember correctly, a very hot, vibrant, fiery, orangish, almost red color. I cannot wait. Look at those. We've got. 
the variety. Now the, the sheath here is, it's cold from uh, shipping, but I think uh, when I repot her up, let's just lift her up and see. Yeah, she's pretty loose in there. Has some nice packing, but she's got some good roots. So I will get her hydrated today and repot her back up. Let me just dump out some of that so I can stick her back in the pot. And we will move on to the next one. Put her tag with her. Good to see that no bugs came crawling out when I dumped her. How have you guys been doing? Hopefully, I I hope and wish you wellness that it's been a good, good couple of weeks since I visited with you last. I have made uh, non-orchid videos about uh, my migraines, but hopefully if I haven't seen you or talked with you in a while, I love chatting in the comments with you and just touching base with you. So if you are one who loves to just communicate back and forth, please do. Give me some hellos in the comments down below. And also, I do have a Facebook page. Link is in the description if you just want to go and chit chat. Um, it's not about, um, it's not really active. There's only about 17 of us. This new plant that I have in front of me is an LC Amethyst Star. And I'll put the pictures up of what she will look like. Lots of beautiful green, green going on. Let's lift her up. She's in a hard plastic container. I always pop mine up when they come in. This is like really destructible. Crushes really easy. There we go. But so she's got some good roots going on. Nice big chunky bark stuck to her, so I will soak her in water. I got some new growth uh, on the tips there of those roots. I see some new growth right in there. Yeah, how exciting. Cannot wait to see how these flourish this year in the grow room. That's orchid number two, Amethyst Star. The final one. I'm still smarting after having cut myself. Yeah. A little too excited. Now this one's a smaller one. And what I liked about these Cataleas is they're not going to take up so much space on my shelf. They shouldn't get really huge like my Mary Elizabeth Von Royal flares over there that are going on, what, three feet tall it seems like. And still, they haven't bloomed for me. This one is Elsie Candy Corn Star of Hermana. And I'll put a picture up of her. I can feel her root coming through the bottom again. She's got some new root growth going on. I'm cracking that pot. Don't worry not doing any damage to anything. It was a throwaway pot. Ooh, a couple of the roots are sticking in there. Let me get those out. Yeah, this one had some roots sticking around the bottom. Well, whenever you plant or repot a Catalea type, you usually end up killing some of the roots. I didn't realize there would be that many circling the bottom of the pot. So I will get her soaking. There is some new growth on those root tips there. I will get these soaking. I will put pictures up of what they look like. I'm excited for little Catalea, Lelia Cataleas that will bloom on my shelves and bring me some beauty in my orchid room. I think there might be some light scents. I can't do really heavy fragrance, 
but every once in a while I do pick out a fragment Frag rent one in hopes that she's not too strong. But like I say, I haven't seen any of them blousy types of Catalayas open up in my orchid room yet. So I'm hoping this will be the summer for that. I thank you for joining me today. I wish you wellness. I wish you peace. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Until we talk again. Bye-bye. I've been trying my best for a while Trying to please everyone who's